Welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name is Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. Just made this today. This was a cleaver. Looked like that when I started. Right now it's shaving sharp along the whole round edge. Be a, might be a good skinning knife, I don't know. It's almost like a ulu with a long handle on the side of it. I uh, put on the buffer for a little while. What I started with was I drew some the picture of the outline of the the cleaver. I made some trial drawings. That's kind of a buoy knife. I, I just don't like that stupid curl there. I just don't like it at all. This one was also started as a buoy knife and then I tried to give it kind of a drop point. Actually this one here I gave it a real long flat tip to start with. I didn't care for that too much. And then the last one is right there. There's the hole and kind of a big round sweep in the bottom and a kind of a drop point in the top and this one time I cut it out and uh, laid it on the knife and it's similar to what I started with here but as you're grinding and stuff everything changes because different things happen when you grind this one's got kind of a big Kind of big and round on the top here for a drop point rather than just a slight angle. But I had to go down low enough to miss the hole, so there's really no two ways about that unless you want that hole still on there. I, I just don't care for it. It's kind of funny looking. Got a real nice big long handle though. What'll be nice is you'll be able to go back because it's got this little wideness here. Should we go back with two? fingers three fingers for sure and that gets you another well look how far out I am from the handle here for for chopping it's got some fair weight to it not real heavy or anything like that but not bad Let's see if the spine's good enough for ground down a nice 90 degree spine on it so that's good now the next thing that I'll do is I will get another piece of that four millimeter cord jute twine cord and I'll jute twine wrap this this time with a whipping knot whipping hitch whatever you want to call it so that the uh, both ends are sucked underneath the wrap, and I think that'll be better than the than the monster buoy that just had it glued on the side and glued on the side in the end. I actually kind of like it. I flattened off the very bottom of the edge here, so I don't get cut on it too bad. I've got just enough here. To catch my hand of course when I put that wrap on there there won't be much but that wrap will be a, a super positive grip though and it says on this steel stainless steel 18 slash 10 made in Japan so looks okay I'd like to get a little better point on the 
end, but to do that, I'll have to mess up the edge to do that, so I don't know if I'll mess with that or not. I ground this down a couple times trying to make more of a point, that's why it's such a, a big, long, gradual point there. I think it's pretty nice. We'll take it out. I'll take it out and give it a test or something. Wait till I get a get the grip done on it. Then I'll take it out and maybe make a bow drill with it or something. Do a couple little chopping tests with it first, maybe. Or it's not real long. It's only a seven-inch blade, so. But it's still good enough for batoning and stuff. But I like I like the idea of the long handle. I think that's pretty important. Again, the handle is just about right. I can just leave the handle the way it is. It's about the right diameter, I guess. I just really like the jute twine, jute twine wraps because it just it gives you such a good a good purchase on the knife even when you're soaking wet and I don't know if you guys can see on the table here the water on the table that's for me dripping sweat on it I've been outside working on this for about about 90 minutes took a long time to grind stainless steel wasn't real cooperative grinding I, I, after I got it ground I got a nice I got a nice shape here and here and then I tried using the belt sander, and the belt sander wouldn't even scratch it. Wouldn't even scratch the steel. So obviously the stainless steel is a little harder. Wouldn't even scratch it. So I, so I got out a round grinding disc for the right angle grinder. And this one has kind of a flat grind on both sides, rather than just flat, flat on, rather than just a like a scanty grind on one side and flatten this side. This one has, has a grind on both sides. Whether that'll make any difference or not, we'll see. I can tell you right now though, it is, it is shaving sharp. My eyes are so bad that I just can't, I can't see exactly how straight that is on the edge. I'm sure we can't see it on the camera, but Got a nice spine on it. I don't know. I like it so far. It's, it's different. When I first looked at my drawing, it reminded me of a tadpole. So I guess we'll call this knife the tadpole. Everything needs a name. Oh, I'm yawning like crazy, guys. You ever yawn and have your underside of your jaw knot up in a cramp? I got one right now. I must be real dehydrated. Oh, man, it hurts. I think it's okay. Now, I doubt this will take a patina because it's stainless steel. It might take a ferric chloride patina, I don't know. My friend John says that the, up in Minnesota, my friend John says that uh, stainless steel will take a blue. So if I can find my bottle of blue, <laughs> I haven't seen that. In, I haven't seen that in a year. It's here somewhere. Maybe I can sand this down a little bit, shine it up just a touch, and then give it about 10 coats of blue, maybe to darken it up, do the spine and stuff. The wood on the handle, the metal of the handle is close, not perfect. But again, it doesn't make a difference because again, I want to put the jute twine on it. Now this one could probably take a a single wrap, but I, I I think I'm really 
I really like this 4mm wrap uh, string. I think that's really going to look nice on there. And again, you rough it all up and you burn a few times to get rid of all the stray edges on it, the fibers. And then give it a good coat of rubber cement. And I think I might even give this one two coats of rubber cement, of clear rubber cement. Don't know why, just so it's more rubbery. It'll still have the Jew twine look, but it'll be a super positive grip. I don't know what you think, guys. It's different. I've never had a knife that looked anything like that before. Looks like the hull of a big old boat or something. It's a pretty even, it's a pretty even curve. I tried to curve down from the, the end here to about here and then curve all the way up and then curve down this way. That was the goal. But again, say the grinder, the grinder didn't mess with me too bad today because I was using a Harbor Freight grinder, a 110 volt with a uh, step down transformer to because of the 240 volts we have here. And uh, that Harbor Freight really spins fast compared to the other grinders that I had here. These cheap, I don't know what you call them, $16 grinders. The Harbor Freight Grinder is a low price one too. I believe it was only, I believe it was, I, I want to say it was $9.99 from Harbor Freight. I think our friend in Las Vegas sent that to us, if I'm not mistaken. He also sent me a uh, two um, skill saws, Black & Decker skill saws. And our friend Alex sent us a uh, DeWalt skill saw. I was starting a tool library here but there's no one no one seems to want to use any of those kind of tools so the bad thing about that those are they're all 110 volts you got to have a transformer to, to use them. I have a really nice one step down transformer that our friend Darren and Julianne gave us. Beautiful great big huge one works perfect. But I think I think this knife is basically done besides maybe some bluing and for sure a wrap and of course eventually we'll need a, a sheath for it of course and the only the only nice thing about leaving it wood is when you do the sheaths this part's a little smaller and you can make the PVC go up to about here and have a real nice tight fit for the the handle around around the PVC PVC around the handle but I think the jute twine wrap outweighs that so But I'll, I'll give it a test maybe tomorrow if I get a chance. Got a lot of sanding marks on it here. But again, that doesn't, the sanding marks don't bother me at all. This is a work knife. But it would be nice if it was real even. Even sanding marks if nothing else. And uh, then some blue on it or ferric chloride maybe. I'm not sure yet. Or we can leave it silver too, it doesn't make any difference. But... That's all I got guys. Hashtag 22 day no more. Go out and have some fun. Go outside and watch your six of course really close. Got a lot of glare. I've got a, I got a fluorescent shop, a shop light. LED shop light, I guess that's what you'd call that. Got a lot of glare on it. Two bulls. But take care. Have some fun. Be extra, extra safe, guys. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you later.